Whew, this next season of Project Runway is dramatic. It is, honestly, it is so much fun to be a part of it. I will say last season, the designers had a little bit of a friendlier approach <laughs> this season. They came to win, the claws came out. The competition element of this has really cranked up and it's been a, a fun season to be a part of. It, it honestly made my job as a judge that much harder. The design is just, they leveled up. They are incredibly talented. They're also a little sassy, I have to say that. The designers this season are a little sassier. Um, it's interesting, as I watch, as a viewer, I get to see a lot of drama that we don't see in real time. I think what's so great about this show is that, listen, when this show started, the world, and particularly the fashion world, was a completely different place. I have been so honored and, and had had so much fun making sure that this new iteration of Project Runway um, really reflects the evolution. We're halfway through the season now. Uh, we had 16 designers at the very beginning. The designers hailed from all over the world, from Korea to Moldova. We have a dreamer um, represented who's living out his American dream in front of the world. It's really emotional. These designers are bringing a sense of uh, pride in what they stand for and what they represent into their clothing decisions, into their design decisions. What you're going to see this season is a lot more drama, a lot more sass. Um, there was that epic uh, viral moment. And as a couple episodes ago, uh, one of the designers made a comment to Carly, who is of course the host of the show, the new host of Project Runway. And uh, it went viral. I'll just leave it at that. It has also become a t-shirt now. On the next episode, you're gonna see Ashley Longshore uh, as our guest judge. And she has more energy than everyone on the show combined. She is um, an extraordinarily talented artist. And we all know that, you know, the intersection of art and fashion is just ripe for inspiration. So the designers have a field day with her challenge. Coming up in the, in the, in the subsequent episodes, you'll see Leslie Jones, who if you are not following her on Twitter, you must follow her today. She gives the best live tweet uh, recaps of Project Runway I've ever seen. Like literally, I, I watch the show and I watch Leslie Jones's Twitter at the same time, and I'm laughing with her. She's hilarious, you must, I'm telling you, just thank me later. We also have um, Tom Brown, who is at the top of his game. He's a designer that is, I mean, his clothes are coveted. He dresses some of the coolest uh, artists and celebrities, I think, of the moment, and his, his taste level is just so elevated, and so he really, he really holds the bar high for these designers. Do you have any favorites? You know what? I should not have favorites. We should th these these we should think of them as like all, you know, we love them all equally. The truth is every judge does have a soft spot in our heart for a couple of them. I think if you watch my facial expressions on the show carefully, you might pick up on it. As I mentioned, this season is dramatic. And <laughs> that is the result of designers who are a bit dramatic. This season it's full of drama, I'm just gonna say it, and it makes for great TV. There are definitely a couple of, of uh, provocative characters on the show this season. One of them is Sergio. I would say he's the guy that folks love to hate. 